Good everybody, I want you to know that you're unstoppable. Welcome to the Unstoppable Nation. If you are aspiring to get to a new position this year, or you are in a position and you want to leave that position, or you want to transition from wherever you are to another place in life, then you need to listen to this message because today we're talking about how you can move from where you are to the position you want to be, or how to maintain your position, or how to transfer and transition from where you are to the next place you want to be see today is a powerful packed message day and you need it because everybody in life always want to get to the next level and most of the criteria to get to the next level is not only in the wishes is basically in the doings and the action you take you understand getting to the next level may not be an action word but the process of getting to that next level you must take an action and if not even more than one action the position you want to get to let me shock you a lot of people want to get there a lot of people want to be there the position you are a lot of people want to be there so it becomes extremely competitive since the day you were born in life you've been competing you've been competing whether you like it or not You've been competing. The day your daddy released you, you were the first sperm out of hundreds of millions of sperm to become you and to fertilize the egg of your mom before you came to this world. When you came to this world, among the children, you've always wanted to be that one that took the first position, in, that one that took the first position in the class. You always want to outshine. You always want to be the one at the top. Everybody desires to be successful. That's what I'm trying to say. But the truth of the matter is, is it doesn't stop at just desiring to be successful. And that's where majority of the people stop. You understand? Uh, now, I'm trying to raise a generation whereby we are not only going to claim what God has said in regards to us in the book, in the Bible. We are going to take action with it. We are going to take actions of faith with it. A lot of Christians, especially those that have not been listening to the Unstoppable Nation or those that have not really rediscovered the Word of God and the Rema of the Word for themselves, they did not know that it's not just by confessing. The confession should lead to action and the action should bring a result. But most people stop at confession and whatever they've confessed that, the, that, 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 that demands the action they are supposed to give it is not coming to pass is not giving them the result they want because that bridge must be connected. The, the, the bridge of confession with the action, with the result, which is the action, must always be in place when you are confessing. You are not just confessing because you you you, you just feel like you want to talk. You are, you are supposed to be confessing to take action. I know there are some things that you don't know how it's going to be. You just have to say the way you want it and the universe will make it happen. The Lord will make it happen. The angels will be sent to make it happen to you. But still, you still need to take action. It's either you take action of faith or action of fear. Action of faith will bring your result and action of fear will definitely not bring the result that you want. And some people, the fear that they have is the confession of their mouth and when they confess with their mouth with negativity like they say negative things they are talking out of fear which is the foundation of their belief definitely is going to create an action whether they like it or not that will bring the result that goes in a way with if you don't plan then you are planning to fail so if you are not using your face when you are if you are not using your faith properly when you confess then it means that you don't believe what you are saying and what you are avoiding to happen may eventually happen. So I want you to know today, to be unstoppable is not just a confession. To be unstoppable, I need to be here daily, Monday to Friday, to let you know that you are unstoppable. And that is an action that I'm taking because I want you to win. I can't just sit there and say, yeah, God has blessed everybody. You can be comfortable wherever you are. Just believe, just believe. No, when you believe, there must be an action that backs it up. You know the kind of God that we serve? We should always let him be our ultimate example. He is the almighty God. He can do like this and everything will change. But right from Genesis 1, the beginning of the word, the beginning of the constitution of we Christians, he said in the beginning, there was darkness and the darkness was like roaming all over the water. And after that, God says, let there be light. You understand? He took an action. It's not like he doesn't know the solution. So he didn't just 
confess it. He, he took the action of bringing the light. He, he, he created the heavens. He created the sun. He created everything. He took the action. They say, for God so loved the world that he gave. You understand? There's an action that comes with your confession. God love. That is the affection of God for us. But he took an action to show us that he actually loves us. See, let me tell you something. To remain in the position that you are, if it's the position that you want, or to want more, or to get to that position you want in life, then you must take action and the action that we'll be talking about today is the action of confession and this confession comes with your prayers you understand i don't want you to ever go to go, go to god apart from maybe the time that you are being grateful you just want to thank god for everything that he has that he's done for you that one yeah you can go and start naming stuff but if you must go to god with your supplications like you've got something please don't ever go without having expectation See, having the expectation that God has done what you are asking him for, listen, having that expectation means that you are going to use faith to cushion it in the middle. And that's why the Bible says, when you pray, Jesus said, he said, when you pray with faith and you believe what you ask, he said, you will receive it. Because having expectation in the times of supplication will definitely bring about your results. Your expectation, your faith should match with your expectation. Meaning, as soon as you pray about it, you need to believe that God has done it. It means that you are expecting. And when you are expecting, then it means that you need to go into preparation. Like, okay, you are praying that, for example, you pray that you want to have, uh, like, good, you want to have a child. Yeah, you understand? From that day that you begin that prayer, you need to start telling that your mind from that day that you now have a baby you need to start acting like a dad you need to start acting like a daughter you are like, like a wife and like a mother rather you need to start acting like you have something that they call bundle of joy that you want to show forth to the world as your child you can't say that god please give me a child and at the end of the day somebody will be like uh -uh, are you people still even trying for the baby time you'll be like oh honestly Honestly, we've done everything we could. In fact, we still went for the IVF. It didn't just work and all that. You understand what I'm saying? That is not what you're supposed to be saying. At that point, are you people try? Yes, God has even answered us. Just put it like that. You don't need to go into details. Yes, God has even answered us. Do you know what you're trying to do? You are trying to demand on the constitution of the lord almighty you are trying to demand on what god has said in his word which he honors more than his name you understand and i promise you it will not disappoint you see the god that we serve is a practical god he's not a god that just wants you to have him in your mind as a theoretical god he wants you to feel his presence he wants you to feel his signs and wonders but we don't lay proper demand on that and don't forget this god does not lower his standard for anybody you understand so if you don't place the proper demand on what you want from god you may not get it no matter how you speak in tongue no matter how you shout no matter how you fast no matter if you you have to place proper demand on god the right way and let me tell you something there is nobody that demands from god the proper way that does not have a result i heard from a pastor today he said there is no atheist anywhere most of the reasons why they say that there is no god is because how can all these bad things be happening and you people are telling me that there is god they need a God that will see that 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 that, that we that we see his action against the evil things, against the negativity that is happening in this world. But it's because they don't have the understanding, so we cannot blame them. You being the light, you that know that God, you that has felt that God. How is your life an example to show people that they don't even have an idea about God that this God exists and you can actually feel his hand in reality? Until we begin to live a life whereby people begin to emulate, even people that they don't know God, that they don't even want to know God, they begin to doubt themselves and say, ha, I know this is naturally not possible. And I don't see any scientific theory I can use to back this thing up. This thing that is happening to this person, it can only be something that I cannot define. And that's when you come inside with your definition and say, it is God that is making it to happen. You think they will not test it? 
let me put an example to you why is it that the churches that you see that there are a lot of miracles like confirmed miracles are happening you see a lot of people going there people go to where it works you understand and there is pressure even on a lot of pastors for power that's why a lot cannot wait on the lord enough and they go to take power from darkness and they want to bring the power to light just because they want the attention and everything and that is why a lot of people are embarrassing and are spoiling the name of the lord almighty but for we that will trust in the holiness of the real one of the main one that we that we are waiting upon the lord we know that it will definitely renew our strength we that we want to be one behind the same and one in front of the same we want to be what we say and want to do what we say and say what we do you understand we are we are the ones that god are waiting for i mean you and i if you can put your full trust in him beyond anything in this world, beyond your circumstance, beyond your situation, beyond whatever you do, even the way you confess in prayers, the way you make your supplications, I promise you it will be different. So this is a challenge and there is no way you can feel someone or a God that you are not close to or a God that you are not fellowshipping with. I tried to start a program yesterday. It's called Daily Devotion Every Day. From Monday to Sunday, it's just going to be between three minutes and four minutes. Just devotion, just to read about God, know about God. Then maybe a little prayer, a few seconds, and you are good for the day. All this I'm trying to create so that you will have a proper fellowship with God. Every day in your mind, you will know that God exists. You will feel his hand and you'll be able to connect. So by the time you lay the mat, it would answer you. The reason why I'm talking about all this is because... It's because there are ways to do this thing. Jesus said, when 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 the disciple came to meet him, then how do we pray? Say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Say, thy, thy kingdom come. You understand? The kingdom of the Lord that want to come. Let me use that word kingdom. Let me take it to another place in the Bible, which is Matthew 6. That's my favorite verse. Matthew 6. Verse 33, which says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things. And before he spoke about all those things, remember, he spoke about, do not be anxious of what you shall eat, what you shall drink, what you shall wear, or where you shall live. Do you remember? He said, only the big cans, meaning that whatever we give you, what you will wear, no matter how expensive the designer is, whatever we give you, what you will drink, no matter how expensive the drink is, whatever we give you, that house, no matter how big and how expensive that house is he said they are not as important as seeking the kingdom of god and his righteousness he now said all those things that you think that are expensive that are luxury that are just for maybe a percentage of some people in this world that it will be added you won't even need to run after them it will be added meaning that there is a system that is set that the what is attached to following the process of that system in the spirit and physically is all the things you ever desire so today, I want you to know, to enjoy everything. You know your prayer point. You know where you want God to touch you. You know what God wants to do in your life. You know how much you need God for some things that you need to be adjusted in your life. I may not know that. But one thing that I know is there is nothing too big that you ask God that he would not do for you if you ask him the right way. And I'm going to be teaching you that right way today. I will teach you the right way today and I pray that from henceforth when you pray, your prayer will always get results. Your prayer will always, you will have an evidence to show forth for the prayers that you've been praying. I pray for you today. You that you've been on that mountain for long on about this particular thing that you're asking God for. <laughs> I pray that the evidence to show that God is alive for the namesake of God, that he is alive. He will give you the evidence of result to that prayer in Jesus' name. That prayer that you've been praying, that thing that you've been asking for, he will give it to you even beyond your reasonable doubt in the mighty name of Jesus. See, this is how you pray. I want you to first of all know that you are designed for the purpose of God. I want you to know that you are created for his purpose. So that means that whatever you have to do to actually be successful has to align with the purpose of which he has created you. Why is it that prophet could see the future? It's because the future is already there. You are just walking into it. Why do they tell you something that will happen in one year's time, in three years time, 20 years time? It's because it is already happened. You are just going to walk into it. 
And now, the meaning that the answers to your prayers, they are there if you can open the right access to it. And the right access is aligning, first of all, yourself with the purpose of God when it comes to prayer as a Christian. When you know that you are living a righteous life, you are living a good life, you are living a clean life, then you are eligible. You are eligible for answers. I'm not saying that God does not answer the prayer of everybody, but I'm telling you there are some prayer level that you need. And I'm talking about prayer of position today. You understand? A prayer that will shift you from where you are to another place, or that will transition you to another career entirely that will make your position to be higher than what you used to be or that will take you from where you are to the position that you want to be so those are the kind of prayer that we're talking about you need to live a certain kind of life you need to live that kind of life and that is a righteous life what do i mean by righteous life you may think that oh this guy is just a christian just want to be preaching no righteous life is just doing the right thing it's like living as a good citizen of the society see to me, I think it's a small thing to, 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 to read your the word of God every day. Find time to meditate as you are. After reading, just give yourself a few minutes to meditate, to listen to what God is saying. Pray, commit your ways into your, into, complete your ways in his hand, then go. Now you have the whole world to deal with after that. You have me to deal with. You have strangers to deal with. You have a lot of people to deal with. Now the thought of your mind towards people, that's where it starts from. Do you love people genuinely? Do you actually like people the way you claim you like them are you somebody that is a a, a a a giver are you a lover are you a kind person are you living your life the right way the work that you're doing are you doing it properly are you following the right rules that you're supposed to be following to make sure that you get to the position that you're looking for are you doing the right exam that they said you should do are you dressing properly you see this thing they are just the normal things that they used to tell you like just do the right thing, yeah? Then with God on your side, there is no way when you pray, maybe it's not taking too long and in the position you really need it, maybe because of the package that it comes with, then when you go on your knees in prayer, after all these things that I'm saying, and you tell God that I'm a light in where I'm going to, if there is no promotion in my life, how will they know that I'm serving you? How will they know that my righteousness counts in front of you? Baba, I pray, Lord, Lord, for your name's sake, use me as a testimony. Use me as your showroom in my workplace by elevating me from where I am to the position I want to be. And when you pray that prayer, believe he has done it. Every day, thank him for it. And as you thank him, if you feel any doubt in your heart, pray about it again. See, God is your dad. God is your father. God wants to listen to you talk to him. He will, just the way you talk to your dad, he wants you to talk to him but in holiness. He has standard. You need to match up with that standard which I've stated for you. Live a righteous life. Then come to him. Now, if you feel like you've been doing that and it's like this has not given me the result that I want, then get scriptures. Get a scripture that supports Whatever you're asking God for. Yes, remind him. And I'll tell you the effect of this. See, have you been to a court of law before? If you are the one that brought a lawyer or you are the one that they are being accused of something, are you the one that will be talking to the judge yourself? Absolutely no. It will be your lawyer that will be speaking with the judge. See, in the court of the kingdom, of the spiritual, Holy Spirit, is that your lawyer? You see, lawyers sometimes they read from constitution. You know the constitution that Holy Spirit talks to God from is the Holy Bible. Let me tell you, let me tell you the juicy part of it. Jesus that God gave to die for you because he doesn't want you to, 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 to not have evidence. Because he said that you will do greater works than him after he's gone. Yeah? He's now at the right hand of God Almighty. They know you before you were formed so they know what you are doing after they checked ah, righteous life ah, doing well is kind is going to church is doing the right thing is praying is is living as a good child of ours then what will be stopping god the only thing that may not make the prayer to be answered is because if god answers you at that time 
it you may not be matured to undo the blessing that you're asking for but if you are overdue and you do all these things that i'm telling you or you are due already there is no stopping god jesus will advocate for you when the holy spirit petition whatever you're asking god for and i'm telling you you will receive your answer speedily in the name of jesus see that's why the bible says we don't even know how to ask yet and that's why when they say speak in tongues if you don't know how to pray is very valid what I do is, whatever I want to pray about, and I don't know even how to ask God sometimes, I just think about them and I speak in tongues. And when I speak in tongues, let me tell you the truth, before you know what is happening, I get my results. No matter how hard the situation is, God has always come true. I owe everything in my life right now to God Almighty. He has never disappointed me. I know in my life the way it was when it was without God. And I know my life right now. The game changer of this is prayer. Is prayer. I used to join NSPP this 7 a.m. prayer before the call came. And I was in the place of prayer for a long time before the call came, before this ministry to start it. So I want you to know that this call that I said just came now, it means that I just obeyed it. But my mother has told me since I was young that you're going to walk in the violent of God. Meaning there is a prophecy that has gone even before I was born. So I want you to know that until I aligned myself with the word of God, with his purpose, it was like a door just flung open. See, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, <laughs> the kingdom of God that I say you should seek first, first is having a constant fellowship with God, having a constant relationship with God, sacrificing to stay in God's plan, sacrificing to live according to God's will, then, and it's righteousness. The righteousness that comes with it is you are doing it with your full heart and you are doing it, you are living in the right way in the presence of God. Whether people are seeing you or not, that's why I said in the presence of God. See, let me tell you something. When you do that, when you do that, nothing can stop Nothing can stop what the kingdom has to offer. You may ask me, what does the kingdom has to offer? I can tell you for free, the street of that kingdom that is in heaven is gold. And he created another one here. So he wants you to live like you are experiencing that kind of luxury lifestyle, lifestyle here. You understand what I'm saying? Like you are enjoying that kind of luxury lifestyle here. But the opposite has been the case for a very long time. A lot of Christians, they even see that if you have, it's like you are, you are, you are following the lust of the world. It's a lie. If you don't have, excuse me, what to show forth for whatever you are preaching, people will not believe. This generation demands signs and wonders. That's why I said a lot of even Christian leaders are not able to be patient enough to receive the power just as the disciple waited to receive the power because they know whenever people see signs and this one that's the follow so i want you to know that there are more to what you would gain in seeking god genuinely and sincerely and his righteousness you understand so now when you pray please when you pray the time you are talking or the time you are confessing or the time you are making your supplication is always like the end point of the life you've been living before you pray that prayer. It's always the end point. It's always like the result of the relationship you've been having. Some people, they said, if you pray, if it doesn't work, thank God. If it doesn't work, let me tell you what you would do. What you would do right now is live right. Live a holy life. Live a righteous life. Live a life that is worthy of emulation. That people will see that you are not living like ordinary men. That these people, they are living exactly the way Christ lived. If you can do that in everything you are doing, God is already even waiting for your supplication. Right? May I tell you, before you even make some supplications, some has been answered. And I want to let you know that daily, the prayers that you didn't even know you need to pray about, God is answering them. And God respects people. God honors people that honor him. You understand? He honors people that honor him. He's a respecter of nobody, meaning that you cannot impress God. You cannot. But there are laws that God has given. 
and your blessing is in the obedience of those laws. You understand? So if you want your prayers to be answered, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Before Jesus now said, give us this day our daily bread. Meaning before you make the supplication, they said, may their will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Meaning you need to live right. When you live right, like God is watching you every time. Every time. I'm telling you, the time you ask for, your, for anything, for that healing, for that blessing, nothing will stop it. See, on the Unstoppable Nation, we may go motivational sometimes, but everything is on a biblical basis. You understand? But today, I want to go call on you. I want you to know that God will not lower his standard for you. And that is why he said he's a no respecter of any man. So, you, But he knows you can get to that standard because the standard is not so high. You just want to do so many things and you just want so many things to be happening. The person that said you cannot eat your cake and have it actually made sense. You cannot have it. And if you think you're having it, I'm telling you, it's not enough yet. You understand what I'm saying? It's not enough yet. It's not, if you want all in all, if you want the satisfaction from inside on whatever God has done for you, if you want the contentment from inside, if you want the peace from inside, if you want the joy from inside, I mean joy, joy that passes all understanding, then you need to develop a fellowship with him before you even begin to pray. That's why he says, when you want to drop an offering and you still have issues with someone, he said, go and settle it for before you come to drop. Meaning that what you want to come and pray about is not important to God as the kind of life you're living before you pray. You may think... Ah, but yes, I was, I, I, I just even stole the other day and I prayed and God answered. Yes, let me tell you why he answered. He answered you so that you would see that he's ready to answer you if you can start living a good life. Grace is not that you should be committing more sins or you should be sinning anyhow. Grace means an opportunity to not commit sin again. You understand? So, if you commit sin, if you still have grace, it means that God is giving you an opportunity whereby when you go into that kind of situation or that kind of temptation again, this time around, you will not commit the sin. This time around, you will live a holy life. I want you to know that if you draw close to God, God will draw close to you. There is no barrier. We are the ones that have been stopping ourselves from getting close to God. We are the ones that are giving excuses from getting close to God. And when you get close to God, which is my emphasis today, then people, when you are trying to get to that position you want in life, all you need to do is just to continue praying. And when you pray, meaning after your confession, then you take action. You start acting like you are in the position, which is faith. I've defined it several times. Hebrews it's in Hebrews. I think uh, Hebrews 11 verse 1, it said, Faith is the evidence of things not seen, substance of what you're hoping for. You need to start acting like it. I like when they say you want a car that you, that, that you like. You go to the showroom. Yes, like you have the money. You tell them you want to test drive the car. Tell them that you are, you are working on it. You just want to sell the car for you. They will allow you to test drive the car. Test drive the car. Dress well. Go and test drive the car. You understand something? Or take if you don't if your faith cannot carry you to that level, have the picture of the car, have it on your screen server. See it everywhere. I always tell the car that I'm gonna have you very soon. Or put it in front of your fridge, put it on your wall. You understand? There is a way your mind will start working. Like it, at that time, if any opportunity comes, maybe the kind of good opportunities that you've been like, I don't like that kind of you may want to do it because you'll be thinking that maybe it is where the money will be generated from. And you may not know the the, 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 what you're hoping for will just come as a gift. But the fact that you are making effort will keep you in the faith and will keep your focus strong on whatever you're praying about. So whatever you pray, whatever you are praying about, the position you want to get to, the transition that you want, I want you to go and get something that represents them right now. Or the position you want to maintain. Represent them and speak to what represents them. Maybe you can write it down. 
like i want to be the general manager of social so place right now and every morning as i'm going be telling yourself that in the mighty name of jesus i'm going out today i'm the general manager of social so, 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 so. or if you want to maintain the position god where am I, I am nobody will push me away from here i am covered with the blood of jesus no weapon fashion against me shall prosper this position i'm a getter in the name of jesus i'm telling you it works or you want to transition Pray about your transition. Use the story of Daniel to pray. Use to do Daniel that was there as a leader in Babylon. And kings were coming and kings were going and they could not shift him. You know what Daniel was doing then? He was living a righteous life first. Then he prays. And because he was doing that, he was unmovable. Nobody could move him and it was unstoppable. So I want you to know today, I want you to know today that the life you live, before the prayer you pray, to get what you want from God is more important than the prayer. So you need to live a righteous life. And there is no way your prayer will not always get results. Because everything you now ask will be according to the name of the Lord. I mean his name's sake. And will always prove himself in your life. And he will always have a reason to show you that he is your unstoppable God. And you too, you will always know when you serve an unstoppable God, then you will be an unstoppable, an unstoppable being. From today, I want you to know that if you can do this and you can live a righteous life and seek the kingdom of God first, all your prayers will always be answered, no matter how big, when you believe. I want you to know you are unstoppable. Let's meet again tomorrow. We'll be talking about healing of the mind, healing of the heart, healing of the body. I will still mention a bit of this prayer because I'll be telling you about the story of Daniel tomorrow and how Daniel was able to use prayer to conquer transitions and was able to use prayer to heal the mind of a king to become even a believer of God. I want you to know you're unstoppable. 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m. tomorrow to 8 p.m. Let's meet here.